question 10 now which is the second last question of this paper 4 now the diagram is a scale drawing of three straight roads a b b c and c d the scale is 1 is to 5000 now what does this scale mean the rows in real are very large and on paper they are shown very small so they have been downsized okay so to go back to the real we will multiply into 5000 and to go from the real back to the paper paper size the size on paper we will go divide by 5000 okay so this is what the scale means here so let's see what does part a has for us find the actual length of the road bc give your answers in meter give your answer in meter so we have to calculate this length from b to c okay and you will keep your scale here and you will measure it and your answer should be between from 9.3 to 9.7 centimeter okay now we don't want the answers in centimeter and we don't want the uh, actual paper answer we want the actual one okay which is the the real one okay on on outside the paper so we will convert for example if you got 9.5 okay let's assume you got 9.5 centimeter let's assume that so 9.5 and this is centimeter right to convert from centimeter to meter we divide it by 100 and we will get 0 0.095 now this is real okay oh uh, sorry this is the paper Th this is what we have measured to go to the actual which I am calling real we have to multiply it with 5000 because the r actual one is 5000 times more larger okay so 0 0.095 times 5000 will give us 475 okay part B and this will be automatically in meters because we have already divided by 100 now part B another straight road starts at M which is the midpoint of AB the road is perpendicular to AB and it meets the road CD at X use the straight edge and compass only construct the MX okay now we have to draw the midpoint of AB which should be a perpendicular so in other words we have to draw a perpendicular bisector of AB how do we do that it's it is very easy you keep your compass here okay and then you draw the arc okay and you have to open the compass somewhere around more than half okay so you will draw one arc over here somewhere somewhat like this and another arc over here and then you keep your s you keep your compass this side then and then you will uh, draw an arc here and then another arc here and then you just join these two lines and you will get the perpendicular bisector okay and then th this said it's it starts it it meets at CD okay which is which is the point X so you keep so you have to join this line till here okay MX this will be the midpoint which is M and that will be the X now part C there is a park in the area enclosed by the four roads the park is less than 290 meters from B so we uh, have to mark all the areas which are 290 the park is somewhere here okay so we have to mark the area which is 290 meters from B first of all they have told us the actual value which is 290 meters we have to convert it into paper value and into centimeters okay so first of all we will convert that it is 290 meters to centimeter it will be divide oh sorry it will be multiplied by 100 but divide by 5000 to get back to the paper okay 
and it will be let me just do it it will be 5.8 so open your compass to 5.8 centimeters keep one end of the compass here and the other pencil end you have to just mark the whole area which is 5.8 centimeters and it will be let's say somewhere here I'm not sure something like this okay something like this now the other part what is the other part it is and nearer to CD than CB so CD and CB this is my CD and this is my CB so I have they said it is nearer to CD than CB or what they said it is nearer to CD yeah it is nearer to CD so we have to divide this region into two in other words we want the angle bisector okay we have to divide this angle into two halves one half will be CD and the other half will be CB and then we will go nearer to CD so how do we draw the angle bisector keep your compass on the edge of the angle draw cut the line around more than half somewhere there don't change the size and cut the line here again somewhere here and then keep your compass here and then assuming that the line will pass somewhere in the middle which, which will be let's say here and now and then from here you will draw another arc here do not change the size in between and let me just adjust my uh, arc just to make it look more real let's say the arc you have drawn it was somewhere like this let's say it was like this okay and then once you have got the arc you will just draw your line bit from between that okay somewhere somewhat like that now once you have drawn the line they said it is nearer to B and this is the region which is nearer to B and it is closer to CD now the CD is this region okay it's this region so the P we have to draw here because the region they are they want it us from us is this one okay and that's the answer